Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, and one of the artists that really inspires me is Yosuke Yamamoto. He was actually born in Japan, but moved to the US when he was 15 years old. He's a self-taught illustrator, and I really love his work because he's fusing his, um, where he was born in Japan with his Western lifestyle now. It's really fun. I think you're gonna love learning about him. Let's take a look at the piece that we're gonna make today. You can see I've used a lot of watercolor. We're gonna build up some layers. It's gonna be really fun. Let's take a look at what we need to make it. So you'll need some watercolor paper, oil pastels, some watercolors. You can use cakes or the tubes of it, some white gel pens, paint brushes, couple colored pencils, and some paper towel, and I think we're ready to get started. So uh, the first thing you need to do before you start into your art piece is make yourself a pattern. I'm calling this the wreath shape. If we look at the journal page here, you can see there's kind of a wreath going around the girl's face. And so we need to make those patterns first. So I've got a wreath shape and I just drew it out on scrap notebook paper. And then I cut out a separate pay, uh, pattern for her face. So you'll have something like this that's ready to paint. The next thing we're gonna do is I put some uh, watercolor out on a, a palette here. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna dip your paintbrush in water and all I did was just squeezed a little bit out of the tube here. Doesn't take much, you can always add more. And if you don't use all your paint, you'll wanna leave it to dry because you can always uh, reconstitute it with water. I'll show you that in a minute. It's a neat little trick. So I'm using cool colors, uh, warm and green. And uh, I do that because it's safe to mix. So that's a little dark. So I'm gonna hurry up, grab some water and brush right over it. And you're just gonna kind of mix your greens and blues right alongside each other. And you can just kind of blend as you go. And you can see, I had my pattern down, so it's safe to just paint right over it because with watercolors, you can see your pattern underneath. So you're just gonna cover that entire thing with paint like this. Now, this is a really fun technique. Remember I said how you can bring watercolor paint back to life with a little bit of water? So we're gonna just use our brush, smear the water around, and we're gonna actually make a print because there's a lot of texture in Yosuke Yabamoto's art. So we're gonna add our own texture with bubble wrap. Just put it bubble side down, dip it in the paint, and then you're gonna press it right onto your watercolor design. And you can see I get a really cool speckle effect. And if that's too dark for you, then just take your uh, paper towel, pat it a little bit, and it lightens right up. And that makes it dry really fast too. The next thing we're gonna do is add another layer with our white gel pen. And these are fun because they go on really solid. It's kind of fun to draw in with white. We're so used to drawing in color, but you're going to just start drawing flower forms. So. I'm gonna just start, and it's essentially all you're doing is just doodling really, really slow. And you can see that's gonna create a faint design. And if you want it to be darker, just go over it a couple times with your pen. Really easy. And you're, this is gonna take some time, guys, so spend some time and just doodle the day away. And when you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. I went ahead and cut mine out. That's pretty easy. Once it's all dry, just cut it out. Now let's create the face. Now, if you're nervous about this, just keep it really simple. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw a couple eyes. Really light. You can draw your nose. And you can draw your mouth however you like. And you'll have something like this. And so you can see how we're building our layers up one by one. Now, this part is really, really fun. We're gonna actually spray paint with watercolors. So all I did for this is I put about a tablespoon of pigment into a um, bottle of water and shook it up. And you're gonna just lay, you can use a stencil, you can lay pieces of paper, but you're just gonna spray right onto your, oops, you're just gonna spray right onto your paper, however you like. And you can also blot this a little bit to 
to lighten it up if that black uh, pigment is a little dark for you, but you can see how I have a really cool pattern. And you're just gonna do this a couple times and then let it dry. If you don't wanna wait for the paper to dry, use a hair dryer. So let's grab our glue stick and assemble these layers together. I've got my background ready. And what I kind of like to do is choose the, my favorite part and make sure it's gonna show. And you're gonna first put a little bit of glue around the person's face. And don't worry, this will dry clear, but it's kind of neat how you can see where the glue goes. And you're gonna set your wreath shape right in place. Press it down. And then get a nice amount of glue on your wreath shape, and you can put some on the face as well. And then we're gonna glue this down. And I love seeing all these layers coming together. It's so exciting. And isn't it neat how faint and um, light this piece makes you feel when you look at it? And then what I would do is just put a big heavy book on top of it so it holds your layers together. Let's take a look at this beautiful piece inspired by Yosuke Yamamoto.